It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Where are we going? Before the fight started, I remember hugging Johnny and feeling his confidence, but more than that, feeling his love. Like regardless of the outcome, I knew that he was going to be proud of me. It just gave me such a sense of peace. Round one starts and the game plan going into it was to get comfortable in there again since it had been a long time since I fought, but I quickly found a home for the jab and that set the tone for the rest of the fight. I was able to manage distance and then I got this big takedown at the end of the round, which really put an exclamation point on round one, I think sealed it for me. Round two begins and I want to build on that momentum. So I'm looking for more combinations to land right hands and I get the takedown with more time to work. And I rem remember landing a big elbow over the top that kind of smashed the nose of Marion Renault. She began bleeding and I really feel like that's where she started to wane. Round three starts and I'm thinking I've got five minutes to get this fight done. So I come out swinging. I'm willing to engage and take more risk. Uh, and I just start to pull ahead of her in the fight. I go for a takedown. She grabs the fence uh, and then I'm, I stay on the takedown and I get it. And we're on the ground and before I know it, I'm in a position to finish this fight. So I'm getting my hooks in and I've got her arm trapped and I just start throwing the ground and pound. And before you know it, she's turning away from it. And I hear my coaches yelling right hand only. So I switch to just delivering all the damage with my right hand. Um, and then the ref stopped the fight. I'm here doing the celebratory team dinner. So everybody here had a big part to do with the reason why I won that fight. And uh, so we're just, you know, it's a way to say thank you. It's a way to kind of celebrate and just enjoy all the hard work. And I finally get to eat. I don't have to diet so much. I can have a beer, spend time with my kids, my family, my parents are here. And everybody here is just very instrumental in winning that fight. So it's a great chance to get together and reap what we sow. Color. What? <laughs> so excited, huh? Were you happy? Yeah. yeah. I know, huh? No, you know what? I did the same celebration. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, huh? I definitely want to fight. But not like right away. Yeah. Think about this, like, this is really just like four months of I felt better. I think so, right? Yeah, now I just gotta keep like 
stepping up the competition, you know? Yeah, everyone's awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah I awesome. actually genuinely have to think about it. Like, who's and I, to I top the list of awesome, though, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So we did not want her on the wrestling floor. Wrestling floor. Wrestling floor. It's like, what are you doing? What do you I'm think you're going to do out there on the mats? No, you're not. Yeah. My mother, who was a Rosie the Riveter, she was 40 when I was born. So she was a... Uh, depression child uh, about a World War II yeah, young woman. Like, so she like, she was one like, of those women that broke the barrier. She got to do their jobs and while like, the guys were out fighting the war. So, so no, she had the attitude of a woman can do anything a man can do if she puts her mind to it. So she said to me, she goes, raise my hands and slowly back away. Let her do what she wants to do. She goes to hell with them. We're here just enjoying dinner. I just want to say thanks to Eric because he's sponsoring it. You. You're welcome. We uh, we want to help Misha with her and her team for everything that she did. They did for her personally, and uh, we're here at a nice dinner after the fight um, to treat everybody that helped Misha with her team and everything, and just a nice, relaxing, and uh, perfect dinner. Yeah. Happy to do it. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Yeah, ultimate sack here. So that's what we're. We got those big, you know, those big giant bean bags that you see me. Cruising and lounging around on. Yeah, that's this guy, so big thanks. All perfect, all good. So thanks. Thanks for everything. Thanks for including us. For and, sure. Uh, say, turn around and say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> she, we're, we're she's the biggest fan of the beanbag. Yeah. Huh. You like them, huh? Yeah. What do you like to do on the beanbag? Jump and play. Jump and play. That's good. I would love to fight in Madison Square Garden in November because it was November five years ago in Madison Square Garden that I retired. And what a better way to continue the Tate 2.0 evolution than to go back there and rewrite this story.